The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you, partially transcribed, by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers of wonderful Kraft Deluxe Slices. Perfect slices of delicious pasteurized processed cheese. Kraft Deluxe Slices are made an exclusive way to give you more wonderful flavor in every sandwich size slice. Enjoy them often. Kraft Deluxe Slices... Another product you can depend on for quality because it's made by Kraft. Well, it's summertime and the great Gildersleeve is planning his vacation from the water department a little differently this year. He's going to take it a day or two at a time as the mood strikes him. The mood has just struck him. Right, George. I just won't go to the office today, Bertie. No, sir? Yeah, I'll use up a day of my vacation. Yeah, I'll still have 13 days left. Yes, sir. Yeah, I need a day of complete relaxation. Absolute peace and quiet. Yes, sir. Yeah, that hammock out under the trees looks inviting. I think I'll stretch out and doze. Yes, sir. You want me to yell when lunch is ready? No, no noise, Bertie. If I'm asleep, just wave a cheese sandwich under my nose. <laughs> yes, sir. That'll bring you around. If you want any ice water or lemonade, Mr. Gilsleeve, I'll be right here in the house. Just yell. Oh, thank you, Bertie. Yes, sir, this is going to be a restful day. Hello, little Bertie. Did you go, Bertie, Mr. Gilsleeve? <laughs> no, Bertie. Don't you go, Bertie? No, no. Gee, she frightened the bird away. <laughs> oh, well. We be all the quieter around here. I wonder if this old hammock will hold me. Fabric is pretty thin. Especially in the saggy part. Well, here you go. Eddie. A fellow could fall through here and get trapped. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> You know, I have to lie still. Yes, sir, this is it. Does a man good to get off to himself? Close out the hustle and bustle. This darn phone. Zeke. Well, if I'm going to doze, I'd better doze. Miss Gary! Yes, Bertie? All right. It was for Leroy. Great. It was for you. I wouldn't disturb you. I know you rested. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, drift off, Gildersleeve. Nice, cool breeze. Look at those fleecy clouds up there. Come on, Dad. We'll play ball in the backyard. Oh, for Leroy and his friends. Peggy, you catch Marvin pitching on the back. Why can't I bat? It's my bat. It's my I'm going to bat. It's my ball. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. Let's let Marvin bat and get rid of him. I'll bat, but you can't get rid of me. Where's home plate? Right over there. The corner of the house is first base, the lilac bush is second, and third base is unk in the hammock. Oh. <laughs> I don't want anybody sliding into me. Hey, is that your uncle? Yeah, I think he's asleep. Are you asleep, Mr. Gildersleeve? Hardly, Marvin. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hello, Piggy. Are we disturbing you, Unc? No, Leroy. I was just going in the house. Yeah, yeah, George, I'll never get any rest out here. Hey, let's not play ball. Let's all get in the hammock. Yeah, forget it's a flying saucer. Okay, I'm captain. I'm captain. I'm little like the men in the flying saucer. I wish you'd go back to the moon. What noisy kids. You too rested, Mr. Gilsey? Bertie, I haven't started. No, sir. I'm heading for the couch in my den. Yes, sir. You'll have a good rest in there. <laughs> I'd have been better off going to the office and sleeping there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is better than the hammock anyway. Come on in, Dan. Oh, my goodness. Here they come like a herd of buffalo. Leroy, be more quiet. We're just going up to my room, Unc. 
We're going to get Leroy's ray gun. Yeah, they're going to shoot me. <laughs> Come on, gang. Hey, let's play here in the house. Yeah, shoot me here in the house. It's time I made some noise around here. Leroy! Gosh, Uncle, why did you drag me away from the kids? Leroy, you were getting too noisy. I took the day off to relax. But it's summer. The only chance us kids get to play. Well, don't cram the whole summer into one day. Gosh. No, no. I have a suggestion to make. Yeah? Why don't we jump in the car and go up to Grass Lake? Oh, boy. Wait till I tell Piggy and Marvin. Oh, no, you don't. The whole idea is to get off by ourselves. Well, we'll go swimming, huh, Aunt? You bet. Be ready in half an hour. I have to stop in at Petey's. Oh, I'll go find my bathing suit. Hurry, Aunt. Huh? All right, my boy. Hello, Phoebe. Yeah, hello, Mr. Gummersleeve. <laughs> what can I do for you this morning? Phoebe, what do you have in bathing caps? I don't have anything in bathing caps. <laughs> yes, you do. I see some there on the shelf. Well, I have bathing caps, but I don't have anything in them. <laughs> I usually leave that up to the customer. Oh, my goodness. What do you plan to put in the bathing cap, Mr. Gildersleeve? A blonde or a brunette? <laughs> I'm going to wear it. <laughs> you don't say. It. What do you have for me? Well, here's a cap with a chin strap and a bow on it. Oh, I wouldn't wear that swimming. Think how I'd look. Well, nobody knows you if you kept your head underwater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phoebe. Show me a man's cap. Going swimming, are you? What do you think? I think you're going swimming. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's the first day of my vacation from the water department. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, I'm going out to Grass Lake today and relax. So I can be back at the office hitting the ball tomorrow. A one-day vacation? The city's getting a little chintzy, isn't it? <laughs> Peavy, I'm spreading out my vacation this year. Taking a day or two at a time. Yeah, everybody to his taste. Yeah, I was having a fine time at home in the hammock. Until Leroy and his noisy young friends came along. Mm, there seems to be a lot of kids around since school let out. Well, the only way I can get any rest today is to slip out to Grass Lake. Mm, it's pretty hard to sneak off to a swimming hole without the kids tagging along. Well, I'd take them, Peavy, but I couldn't relax. It's too much responsibility. Mm, that could be. But if they take a notion to go... Oh, and... no. I'll just outsmart them. <laughs> Those kids are pretty sharp, Mr. Gildersleeve, especially Leroy's little pal Marvin. Look, Peavy, a nine-year-old can't match wits with me. I may be on a vacation. But my brain isn't. You well, know, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Phoebe. Leroy, don't you go outside and tell them boys your uncle's taking you swimming. I'm not going to tell them. Your uncle wouldn't like it, so don't you tell them where you're going. All right, I won't even mention Glass Lake. Leroy. I'm coming. Gosh, I wish the kids could go with me. How can I let them know Uncle and I are going swimming without telling them? Let's play ball again. Yeah, let's play ball. I can't. I've got to go somewhere with my uncle. Okay. Marvin and I'll play. Yeah, we'll play. And I'll bet. Well, wait a minute. I, I said I was going somewhere. Yeah. We heard you. I'll bet. Don't you want to know where I'm going? Where are you going? I can't tell you. <laughs> Come on, Piggy, I'll bet. Wait a minute, Marvin. I'll bet you and Piggy wish you were going where I'm going, because I'm going to have a lot of fun. Yeah? Where are you going? My aunt says not to tell you. But if you know how to play charades, you can guess. That corny game, that's a girl's game. You're thinking of post office. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, charades is where you act it out. Now, I'll hold my nose with one hand and jump off something into something. Where am I going? Crazy? <laughs> Grass, you hear me? Grass. What does it make you think of? Mowing the lawn? <laughs> oh, for corn's sake. Look, look. I'm, I'm kicking my feet and sort of swimming with my arms. Boy, you look stupid. <laughs> You're the one who's stupid. You can't even guess I'm going swimming at Grass Lake. Swimming? Boy, I thought of that, but you weren't even in the water. You look stupid trying to swim on grass. Hey, Leroy, you think your uncle will take us? Well, he doesn't want to 
take you. That's why I couldn't tell you where we were going. Well, maybe he'll take us if we hang around. That's what I was thinking. I bet he'll take me. I can look awful pitiful when I want to. Well, don't overdo it. Nah, we don't want Leroy's uncle to get suspicious. His uncle won't get on to me. I can fool my father, and he's smarter than Leroy's uncle. Watch it, Marvin. I'll, I'll withdraw my invitation. <laughs> I'm all set for Grass Lake, Bertie. Yes, sir. Too bad the boys were so noisy around here this morning. Well, now I'm glad they were. I'm looking forward to a quiet day at the lake. Yes, sir. Just Leroy and me. Leroy! Yeah? Are you ready to go? I'm hurrying. Because we sure don't want to be here in case Piggy and Marvin show up again. Well, I'm not taking them. I want a day of rest with no responsibility. I wonder who that could be. He's probably a solicitor. I'll go see uh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, it's you, Piggy. Is that Piggy? Well, what do you know? <laughs> Piggy, I'm afraid Leroy can't play anymore today. Oh, I didn't come to play with Leroy. I came to see you. Me? Well, come in. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Gildersleeve, I understand this is your first day of vacation. Well, I hope it is. So, I was thinking maybe you'd like to get off to yourself without anybody to bother you. Frankly, Piggy, I'd like nothing better. Well, I was thinking if you and Leroy are going anywhere, I'd volunteer to go along and play with Leroy to keep him out of your hair. Oh. I know you work hard because you're a big man in town. You're water commissioner and everything. You well. And I was thinking that you'd appreciate it if I went along. What do you think of my thinking? <laughs> Piggy, I appreciate all the thinking that has gone into this. And I know you have my best interest at heart. But today, I'm going to struggle through life alone. Well, I just thought I'd volunteer. Have a good time. Yes, yes. You want me to go to the door, Ron? Yeah, I'm right here, Leroy. Hi, Mr. Gildersleeve. He come in, Marvin. <laughs> is that Marvin? <laughs> yeah. Boy, it sure is hot today. Don't you think it's a hot day, Mr. Gildersleeve? <laughs> I think it's quite comfortable. I think it's hot. Boy, I wish we had a swimming pool. Mm-hmm. Don't you think it's hot, Mr. Gildersleeve? No, Marvin. I guess I feel it more because I'm a little kid. I'm closer to the hot ground than you are. <laughs> Marvin, you have my sympathy. Does that mean you're going to take us? Yeah. Take you where? Well, wherever you're going in case you're going anywhere. Well, we are going somewhere. If you boys will excuse us. Come on, Leroy. Okay. Boy, it sure is hot down here where I am. Now, Marvin, this is only the first week of real summer. Maybe that's why I feel it so much. Maybe this is the day I'll just melt away. Let's go, Leroy. I'll just melt down to nothing but a greasy spot on the hot old sidewalk. Oh, my goodness. People will look down and say, What's that spot on the sidewalk? And people will say, that was Marvin. <laughs> all right, all right, I give in. Yeah? You boys go home and get your bathing suits. I've already got mine under my clothes. <laughs> Zeke, he was just toying with me. The great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Here's how to make the most delicious cheese sandwich you've ever tasted. It's as easy as one, two, three. One, take a package of Kraft Deluxe Slices, perfect slices of wonderful-tasting pasteurized processed cheese, and slit the airtight wrapper. Two, just peel the slices apart as easily as you'd peel a banana. Three, place the perfectly formed slices on the bread. Kraft Deluxe Slices come to you exactly sandwich size, so there's no bothersome cutting with a knife. And Kraft Deluxe Slices are uniform and perfect with absolutely no ragged edges. That's because Kraft Deluxe Slices are made a completely new way, an exclusive Kraft way. Instead of being cut from a loaf, these slices are actually formed by an amazing Kraft invention. This helps Kraft Deluxe Slices keep fresh longer, too, because 
their surfaces are never roughed up with a knife. And most important of all, processed cheese made this wonderful craft way has more flavor. We think you'll agree that it's the most delicious processed cheese you've ever tasted. There are eight of these sandwich-sized slices, a whole half pound of fine processed cheese in every square package of Kraft Deluxe Slices. Keep several packages on hand always for grand-tasting cheese sandwiches and snacks you can fix easily in just minutes. Just be sure you get the quality slices when you buy. Look for the name on the package, Kraft Deluxe Slices. Well, the great Gildersleeve planned a day of complete relaxation at Grass Lake. Of course, he was taking Leroy. Then Leroy's friends heard about it. Now it looks like he's going to have a car full of kids. I'm loading the car, Mr. Gildersleeve. Bertie, do we have to take all that? Well, if all the kids are going along, you'll need plenty of lunch baskets and thermos jugs. You're beginning to look like a safari. And you'll have to have blankets to spread on the beach and camp chairs and towels. And Leroy wants to take his swim fins and canoe paddle. <laughs> Whose fishing pole is this? That's Piggy's. Twelve feet long. Where are we going to put it? Tie it on the top of the car and put a flag on it. Ooh, what a day off. Fine rest I'm going to get, supervising a bunch of kids. I didn't want the responsibility. No, sir. Where are they? I've lost them already. Leroy and Piggy are out in the flower bed digging bait. Flower bed? Oh, fine. <laughs> what do you want the can of worms, Unc? I don't want them. But if we have to take them, put them in the trunk compartment. Just turn them loose in there? It, leave them in the can, Piggy. Put them in, Piggy. Okay. Well, it's getting late. Let's pile in the car. Where's Marvin, Miss Gilsey? Yeah, I sent him home to get a letter of approval from his mother. I'm not going to assume all the responsibility. Hey, we may have to go without him. Wouldn't that be too bad? <laughs> Here he comes, wearing a great big red inner tube. He looks like a walking donut. <laughs> Come on, Marvin. Yeah, you slow poke. Let's go. What are we waiting for? Not so fast, Marvin. Where's the letter from your mother? It's pinned in my hat. Pinned in your hat? Yeah, I lose things. <laughs> I'm getting it, Mr. Gildersleeve. Here you are. Yeah, all right. Let me check this. Mr. Gildersleeve, it's all right for you to take Marvin to Grass Lake if you'll take good care of him. Let's get going, Uncle. Huh? Yeah, wait a minute, Leroy. I'm just getting to the fine print. Don't let Marvin get near poison oak, eat too much candy, drink too much pop, or wade in over his knees. Don't let him stay in the sun too long, as he has a very tender skin. Marvin? Let's go, Unc. Hold your horses. Here's a postscript. Watch him every minute and be sure he takes a nap at 2 o'clock. <laughs> Mr. Gilsey, it's a good thing you got that letter so you don't have any responsibility. <laughs> Yes, yes. Climb in, Marvin, and we'll never get to the lake. Oh, boy. Rev it up. Contact. Clap down. Oh. Well, last we're on our way. Next stop, Grass Lake. Oh, no, it isn't. What's this, Marvin? My mother said to stop someplace and get me some earplugs. Earplugs? I thought you could only go in up to your knees. When I get in up to my knees, I always do some diving. <laughs> oh, I wish I could duck out of this. All right, Marvin. Run into Mr. Peavy's and get your earplugs. You come in with me. Why? I haven't got any money. <laughs> Well, that's a good reason. Come along. Make it snappy, young. Yeah, the lake will be frozen over before we get there. We'll be right out. Hello, Peavy. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hi, Mr. Peavy. Oh, hello there, Marvin. What can I do for you, gentlemen? I'd like to buy some earplugs on Mr. Gildersleeve's money. <laughs> you don't say. Yes, I do. <laughs> Give him the earplugs, Peavy. Very well. Decide to take the boys to Grass Lake after all, Mr. Gildersleeve? I didn't have anything to say about it. <laughs> Here's your plug, Marvin. Pay the man, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yeah, I have a charge account. Hey, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Marvin. The day's wasting. Hi, Mr. Peavy. Hi, Mr. Peavy. Oh, hello, boy. Leroy, I thought you and Piggy were going to wait in the car. I want a candy bar. And I could use an ice cream soda. But... Why don't we all have an ice cream soda? 
Mr. Gildersleeve has a charge account. <laughs> what will you have, Mr. Gildersleeve? Give me an aspirin. <laughs> Yeah, smooth as glass. A weekday is the time to go to the lake when most everybody's working. Yeah, that's what I should be doing. Marvin, don't wander off. I'm just looking for rocks to take home. Marvin, come back. You stay here, Leroy. I'll have to go get him. Okay. Piggy and I'll break out the lunch. Marvin, get out of the bushes. Get... Oh! The rocks are hard on the toes. I shouldn't have gotten into my bathing suit so soon. Marvin, where are you? Right here. Oop. <laughs> you didn't see it. Come along now. There's poison oak in here. I know. I see some. Oh, where is it? You're standing in it. Oh! How you doing, Unc? Well, I washed with soap and water. I don't think I'll get poison oak. You'll know for sure tomorrow. Yes, yes. What a total loss this day is. Hey, Unc, there's a motorboat out there. Great. There's a girl in it. A girl? Well. She's coming close to shore. Yes, she is. Let's wave to her. Why are you waving to her? Well, that's the law of the sea. Uh, say, that's May Kelly. Oh, fine. You. Miss Kelly! Come on there! Say, she's going to stop. I'd better get down and chat with her. Is that another law of the sea? <laughs> what about your lunch, Mr. Gildersleeve? You fellas go ahead. I'll be right back. Ah! Hello, Throckmorton. I wonder who that handsome man was. It's me. <laughs> How do you happen to be out here, May? I love the water. Me too. Mind if I wade out to the boat? Please do. Oop. <laughs> yeah. That's a very becoming bathing suit you're wearing. Oh, thank you. Swaying coconut palms and everything. It kicks up quite a storm, doesn't it? <laughs> you bet. Who do you have with you, a Boy Scout troop? No. It's my nephew, Leroy, and his pals. Oh, uh, what a nice uncle to bring them out. You have. Oh, it's very thoughtful of you. Yes, it is. Not many people would assume so much responsibility. You know how boys are. They scatter to the four winds, get into things. And when there's water, you have to be extra careful. Well, I can't imagine a more elegant-looking lifeguard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't have to pull any of them out. But I'm just the guy who can do it. What are you up to with this boat? And the water skis and back. Oh, just cruising around the lake, looking for someone to play with. Hey, now. <laughs> I'm your playboy. Wonderful. Want to take a spin? Well, I can still keep an eye on the boys. Oh, let's go. You can get on the water skis. Me? On the water skis? Well, sure. I'll pull you around the lake. Yeah, on second thought, perhaps I shouldn't leave the kids even for a minute. Oh, they're busy eating. They'll never leave those big sandwiches. Come on. Well. Afraid? Oh, no. Except the last time I got on skis, I had snow under me. Oh, there's nothing to it. Especially an athletic fellow like you. Now, here, fit your feet into these. Yeah, let's see. Like, like this? Yes, that's right. Are, are they good and tight? If I had any more foot, I'd have to have more ski. Hey, Aunt, what are you doing? Yeah, I'll be right back, Leroy. Take care of Marvin. Okay. Little Marvin's mother sent me a long note about taking care of him, so we'd better not go out too far. Oh, no, we'll just make a circle. I hope both of us make it. <laughs> you see, I'll pull away from shore slowly, and you hang on to the rope. Yeah, hang on to the rope. Uh-huh. Now, just sit on the skis and gradually raise yourself out of the water to a standing position. Ah, oh, it's as simple as falling off a log. Oh, yes. Now, I'll start the motor. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. There she goes. The steady ghostly. Sit on the skis. 
Raised to a standing position. Hey, I made it. I'm water skiing. Look, Leroy, I'm water skiing. Oh, thank you, sir. How do I get out of this trough? Here comes a big wave. Yeah, I'm going over. Whoa! <laughs> Hey, hey, she didn't see me fall off. My ski is stuck, huh? Leroy, help! You all right now, Uncle? <laughs> I, I guess so. Piggy, Piggy, stop pounding me on the back. I want to get all the water out of you. <laughs> is he all right, Leroy? Yeah, he's okay. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Boy, was he waterlogged. <laughs> it took all three of us to haul him up on shore. Yeah, all right, Marvin. Mr. Gildersleeve, I don't think I can come to the lake with you again. Oh? You're too big a responsibility. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Take your choice. There are five delicious kinds of Kraft Deluxe Slices for the most wonderful variety of easy-to-fix cheese sandwiches you've ever enjoyed. Get these perfect slices of fine-tasting pasteurized processed cheese in mellow Kraft American, Kraft American with bits of scarlet pimento added, nut sweet Kraft Swiss, Kraft Brick with that deep, rich goodness, and sharp Old English brand. Try all five wonderful kinds of Kraft Deluxe Slices. What are you doing on the couch, Unc? I'm nursing my Charlie horses, Leroy. I'm sore and stiff all over from that Grass Lake excursion. You're not even going to the office? I'm taking today off to rest up from yesterday. You... I didn't know I had so many muscles. Well, you shouldn't be sore. Your muscles are pretty well padded. <laughs> they hurt anyway. You don't feel like playing ball, huh? You know, I wouldn't get out of this house for anybody. Ah, yeah. oh, I'm right by the phone, Bertie. Hand it to me, Leroy. Sure. Hello. Drop Martin. This is May. Well, May. I had so much fun with you at Grass Lake yesterday. Yeah, thank you. I wonder if you'd care to meet me there again today. You bet. I'll be right out. I'll be waiting. Bye. Bye. You going out to Grass Lake again today? What about your Charlie horse? I may ride it out there. <laughs> Good night, folks. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White. It is partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Lillian Randolph, Stuffy Singer, Viola Bond, Tommy Cook, and Dick LeGrand. Musical compositions by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next week and every week throughout the summer for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. Having a picnic? Well, make those picnic sandwiches taste extra good with Miracle Sandwich Spread. Miracle Sandwich Spread is made by Kraft from America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip, and spicy relishes. See what a wonderfully different flavor. What tang Miracle Sandwich Spread adds to your meat or cheese sandwiches. Or use it alone between slices of bread for a sandwich that's really thrifty and quick and easy to fix. Stop at your grocer's first thing tomorrow and take home a jar of delicious Miracle Sandwich Spread. Tonight, enjoy the best of Groucho on NBC.